For the first time in two years, JCPS students will have a real in-person first day of school tomorrow. But as WDRB's Lauren Smith tells us, the return to class will still be anything but normal. Lawrence? Students and teachers are returning to schools such as this one, Central High, tomorrow as the Delta variant continues to surge and JCPS is taking steps to try and keep them safe. We are ready. Uh, we're excited to start the school year. Because you see the days of the week. JCPS students once again starting the school year in person. Last year, because of COVID, the first day of class was all virtual. And it will be more normal than last year, but still, obviously, we're going to be dealing with mitigation of COVID for the better part, uh, maybe the entire year. With the Delta variant now surging, JCPS taking precautions. Masks are required indoors for everyone unless they have a medical waiver. There will also be social distancing when possible. When you're at capacity, that's going to be very challenging and difficult. The safety measures designed to reduce the number of people who would have to quarantine if there is a positive case. The masking and social distancing, will, when possible, will significantly reduce the number of students and staff who are considered close contacts when there's a case of, of COVID-19 and therefore that'll help reduce those that need to quarantine. COVID testing will be available in schools for those showing symptoms. There's also voluntary weekly screening for any student whose parents have given permission. To monitor for people who aren't having symptoms so that we could detect COVID in the building. So despite the persistent pandemic, students will once again fill the hallways of JCPS schools. Clearly, this is a much greater task than we've ever faced before. Superintendent Polio urging all eligible students and parents to get the vaccine. He says that increases the odds the school year will not be will not be disrupted by COVID outbreaks and quarantines. At Central High School, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News.